And is the American military's world dominance drawing to a close? According to a new report, U.S. military strength has now been downgraded and may be unable to meet the demands of a major war. NTD's Jason Perry has the details. There is no way, as our scholars report, as you will hear today, that the United States can engage in a two-front war. And in fact, we're increasingly dubious that we could even engage in a single front war because of this lack of readiness. The Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank, released its index of U.S. military strength for 2023. The overall rating for America's military is weak in terms of its ability to defend America's vital national interests. The annual report is based on an array of publicly available information, such as military budget documents and congressional testimony. Heritage Foundation President Kevin Roberts added this. And we're having a very hard time, as some of our scholars have reported, in recruitment because of the woke agenda that one particular political movement in this country prioritizes over American military readiness. Congressman Mike Gallagher said this should not deter men and women from serving in America's military, as he says things can be changed if Republicans take back Congress. The report lists the Marine Corps as strong due to its efforts to modernize and enhance its readiness. The Army is listed as marginal, as it only has 62% of the force it should have, while its readiness remains very strong. The report lists the Navy as weak, as it remains about 100 ships short of what is expected. And the Air Force is listed as very weak because of issues recruiting and training pilots, and it would have difficulty responding quickly to a crisis. I believe we do face an existential threat from the Chinese Communist Party. And so we're going to need everybody, those that choose to serve, those that choose to go to the private sector. We need everybody to get on Team America because we're not destined necessarily to win this competition. We have to work hard not only to prevent World War III, but win the long-term competition. So please don't lose faith in the basic goodness of this country. It may not be perfect. But it happens to be the best experiment in self-government in human history. So let us not screw it up. Let us not be the generation that screws the whole thing up. The Heritage Report can be found at heritage.org slash military. Jason Perry, NTD News.